Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, just want to jump on here real quick and share some awesome um, information that the Holy Spirit, you know, revealed to me, um, which is so awesome, you know, really from scriptures, you know, in the book of Genesis, you know. Um, but before I do that, let, let me give you guys the gospel because this, this video is not going to take long at all because I, I'm, I'm getting my carpet cleaned you know, um, on my, you know, in my house. So I'm here outside on a parking spot that i found out here so because he has to go to the garage you know to run the stuff upstairs so i hate parking my car out here because he, he got like three saps you know that fall from these trees over here uh but whatever anyway the gospel is found in first corinthians 15 1 through 4 and that is that jesus christ died for our sins was buried and on the third day rose from the dead for our justification jesus always existed he is the second person of the trinity God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, okay? Jesus left heaven, was born of a virgin, lived a perfect life, and shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary for the forgiveness of all our sins, past, present, and future, okay? And what God commands is that we believe this gospel and believe in his Son to receive the free gift of salvation and forgiveness of sins, okay? This way we are secured forever with him, all right? This is a promise from God and God never fails. Now, with that being said, I'm going to share something with you guys, you know, you know, in the garden, you know, remember, hmm, you know, people, you know, growing up, I used to think that when, when you read the story in, in Genesis, right, where, you know, the creation of man and Adam was in the garden, blah, 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 Eve was made, and then boom, the sixth day, the seventh day, and then they sinned, you know, literally on the eighth day. That's like my mindset back then, right? They spent over a hundred years in the garden, y'all. Okay. Okay. I think that's over. Yeah. Yeah. If, if I recall correctly, I read that last year. I'm like, what? They were that long in the garden. Yes, they were. Okay. So this is why it's so important. The enemy was there watching, learning about them the whole time. Okay. That's how the, the enemy operates. Enemy doesn't come to show, ha, I'm here to kill you. No. He sits and then he watches and he learns everything about you. Then he strikes. That's what they do. You know, they know your weaknesses, where you go, when you don't go. That's what they do. You know, and that's exactly what Satan did. He was very patient and watched, learned about them. And then he struck after that. Right. Well, here's the thing. We were like, oh, man, all, all, all is lost at that point. No, the first victory was won in the garden already. I'm like, well, how's that? Let me explain. Remember that. Okay, okay. Back up, back up, back up. First victory one. Remember how when Satan deceived Eve and then Eve deceived, well, spoke to Adam and Adam, oh, sure. You know, went along with the whole plan, right? Sent it into the world. The first victory was won. This to show you how awesome God is, yo. Remember, the scripture tells us that the plan of salvation was already, you know, made before the foundation of the world was made, was created, okay? Before the earth was created, the plan of salvation was already in place. You know why? Because God knew when he makes this earth, he's going to create human beings, and then Satan is going to fall, and then Satan is going to deceive them, and so, so all this, he already knew this stuff already, okay? So he made plans ahead of time. So look at this then. <laughs> you ready for this one? So you know in um, how the Bible tells us without a shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins, right? He said, well, there's no... Yeah, there was one man disobedient, sin entered into the world. Remember that, okay? So yeah, the word sin in the garden, Adam sinned. The Bible tells us that, okay? Adam was not under the law, but he sinned. Now, with that being said, God himself, God himself, killed an animal to shed a blood of an animal okay he made the property this is a picture of what's to come okay he made a sacrifice for himself himself remember adam and eve had leaves on leaves they were vegetarians were the animals in the garden absolutely why didn't they kill an animal you know in order to cover themselves you know they didn't because they were not no one killed any living thing, okay? 
They didn't kill no living beings, okay? There was no, there were vegetarians. There weren't no anyone, you know, out there, you know, um, you know, eating steaks and stuff, you know, at the time. None of that. They were all vegetarians, okay? So they couldn't kill. However, that's why I said that the first murder was committed by Cain, okay? However, look at this. God killed, God sacrificed an animal for himself because of what Adam and Eve did, okay? And peep this. And then he covered them with the skin of the animal. See that as the righteousness of God placed on them. This is a picture of what's to come. When Christ sacrificed himself on that cross, he was a sacrifice. God again made a sacrifice for himself. Jesus Christ, God the Son, God the Father made a sacrifice for himself. And then guess what? He gave it to Adam. Did he say Adam? Uh, mm -mm. Adam and Eve, I'm sorry, but you guys have to do this or do that to be able to get this. No, he gave it to them. He gave it to them freely to cover them. Then he asked, oh, are you going to take the leaves off? No, he did it. Likewise, here in the New Testament, God, the son, died for everyone. He paid for everyone's sins, everyone. Therefore, he says, if you believe in what I've done, that I've did it for you, you can receive forgiveness of sins forever, okay? And reconcile back to God, okay? And co-heirs with me, okay? I mean, guys, there's so much promises involved with that. So you say, so where is the victory then? The first victory is this. When Adam sinned, what did God do? God protected humanity. This is why he kicked them out of the garden. Lest they go eat from the tree of the what? The life. The tree of life. Because, and then stay in that state forever. You see that now? If Adam, you see, Satan wasn't thinking ahead. You know, he was just thinking about destroying God's creation. But he didn't think about, oh man, okay, I could, I could have two fruits. You know, if, if, if it's this fruit and then boom, you know, sin enter into the world, then I'm going to have them eat this fruit. Then right away, this way, they will stay in that state forever. The, the tree of life. This is why God kicked them out of the garden. God didn't kick them out of the garden for the sake of he hates them. No, he kicked them out of the garden for the purpose of avoiding them from going to eat the fruits from the tree of life, which then will put them in the jacked up state forever for all eternity and god already made plans for eternity you know that that will reconcile us back to him that right there would have destroyed that so god avoided that so here go your first victory in the garden just that i would i would drop that in there that was just so awesome i was like whoa but it shows you how powerful and how good god is guys and how awesome god is so we cannot sit here and always trying to you know paint this picture that god being a tyrant he's not a tyrant from the beginning, even though man have sinned against God, God has always shown love and grace towards humanity. It is time to believe the gospel account of Jesus Christ and receive this free gift of salvation, y'all. I'm telling you, if you're not, you are on the wrong team, man. You're on the losing side already. Okay? Come to the winning side. Salvation is a free gift, y'all. Okay? All you must do is just believe in the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ and that his shed blood on the cross was sufficient to pay for all your sin debts, past, present, and future. If you believe this right now, you in agreement with God in your sin condition that yes, you were a sinner, okay, on your way to hell, in need of a savior, the savior, Jesus Christ, okay? So I implore you to believe this today to receive the free gift of salvation, okay? All right, got to go because... The guy that's cleaned my carpet is here. So, peace. Y'all have a wonderful day. Later.